Hello again. This week we're um, going to be looking at week two of everything which is called going back in order to go forward. I hope you had a good time last week in your small groups and um, what we're going to be moving on to is really about the life of Joseph and um, it's looking back at uh, some of the really difficult things which he faced in his life which uh, we're calling earthquake events in his life and how he dealt with those um, in order to find that place of faith with God um, that enabled him to really move into the purposes that God had for him in his life. Now I know that with all of this stuff um, it can be really tricky uh, to want to talk about how that might apply to your life. Um, it might be really hard to consider even identifying some of what you might call those earthquake events in your life. Um, but I want to really encourage you um, in your small group time, uh, you might feel more comfortable splitting into pairs or threes to do some of that stuff, that's fine. Um, or you might want to have some time where you just have a go at some of it on your own and you don't yet feel ready to even share that with anybody and that's fine as well. But just work out a way together where you can find some space to let God um, into those places and explore it a little bit. I'm sure you will have found, like me, there are those times in your life where you have felt trapped or you felt um, confined by something that's gone on or you felt misunderstood um, or maybe someone has said something about you which you know wasn't true or maybe even you've been falsely accused of something. These are all, all the things, all the emotions that Joseph had to deal with and they're really common emotions that many of us feel when things happen in life um, that we feel like we've got no control over. For Joseph there was, there was these um, really key events where first of all his family that um, were supposed to be there to encourage him and love him and be there for him, they are the very people who threaten him, who betray him, who sell him, who despise him. Um, they're the very people who mean that he ends up becoming a slave and loses his family and loses his culture and loses his home life. Um, and then from there ends up in a foreign place, in a foreign land. Um, and even though he, gets, he has a really good attitude and he gets bedded in and he gets on with things, then he finds himself getting betrayed all over again and getting lied about and getting falsely accused and ending up in prison, in an actual prison. Most of us will not have been falsely accused and ended up in an actual prison. But the emotions that he goes through and the things that he thinks about, they are things which all of us have probably dealt with at some point in life. And many, much of that goes back to the ways that we have learned to deal with things that have come out of our families. And uh, for Joseph, it was quite a dysfunctional family. Any family that is going to end up with all of that going on is going to come out of something that's quite dysfunctional and um, and Joseph had this family life that uh, where his brothers brothers were betraying him um, his dad seemed to have favorites uh, they just it it wasn't a, it wasn't a great family life obviously um, and we know that for many of us um, you might have had a really good family life but none of us are perfect None of us are perfect parents. I know that as a parent. I'm not a perfect parent. And so any family life, the normality of it means that there are things that have happened. And um, there is things and ways of doing things that have come out of your families that are great things to explore in that small group situation that you're in tonight. So for example, um, on Sunday I referred to something uh, called the Ten Commandments of your family. What are they for you? What was it? in your family life um, that was the way to deal with money, for example. That will have given you a way of dealing with it, maybe really good, maybe not so healthy. What was the way um, that sex was talked about or not talked about? That will have left you with um, seeing it in similar ways or not, but there will have been a really good way of doing it or maybe a not so healthy way. Um, how have you dealt with grief and loss? And um, we, all, we all know that families, you know, we have losses in those families. And uh, the way that we've dealt with that 
will very often be based on how our family dealt with it. So there's lots of family stuff this week and uh, just again want to encourage you, I know that might be quite hard for you. There is some, um, there's some boxes that you had the opportunity to, to do on Sunday with your weekly notice sheet. They're inside here. If you weren't here on Sunday, just want to encourage you to um, get a hold of that. It will have come through on your email. You can print it off for yourself and uh, jot in the boxes yourself. I want to encourage you maybe to do that tonight as a group if you haven't already and to just spend a bit of time on your own doing it. Or your small group leaders have also had something called um, the sheet for a genogram that you can fill in and uh, on the um, in the preach on Sunday I showed you Joseph's genogram what that would have looked like and the the, the stuff that had gone on within that um, you could do that for yourself some of you um, might have even been ahead and you might have even done it before you've got there this week because your small group leader has asked you to do it um, some of you might have that grid tonight um, to go away. It, it might take you 20 minutes or so, which is why I'm not expecting necessarily that all small groups will do it. Um, but you'll end up with something that it's like a Blue Peter moment for you. Here is mine. Here is mine that I did a few years ago. And you can put, you put on your parents and your grandparents and stuff that has gone on in your family and identify in it your, your earthquake events. Um, and um, that's one, um, actually that I didn't even do just this week ready for this, I did it a few years back and looking at it, I recognise that even, even now, our family's had earthquake events over the last few years and there's stuff that I need to add to that as I work my way through this, this week. So recognise that it is a journey for, on, for all of us and it's a journey that will keep going on as well. Um, so be gentle with each other and be really supportive of each other, um, but... Um, we do have to get to that place for our own emotional health and this spirituality well-being that we're looking at to, um, to recognise what all of this stuff is and not just to bury it under the carpet. It's really easy in our culture to do that and I, I want to encourage you this week um, to, to, to be up for going there. It might just be with one other person but be up for doing it so that God really can get into that nine tenths of the iceberg that we talked about last week and to um, bring that change and that freedom and that release that he really wants to do so that uh, we can become more and more the, the people that he wants us to be. Have a good evening. <laughs>